brought to you by TELUS. Hi, I'm Mike Agarbo. And I'm Miriam Murtosh. And this is App TV, a look at the constantly changing and growing world of apps. Today we're looking at a series of apps that deal with a favorite subject of mine, shopping and retail. I still don't know how you got a whole show dedicated to shopping. It was to help you out actually, Mike. Oh, thanks. <laughs> These are the apps that make finding what you need at the store even easier. Well, some connect you to outlets and stores you may already be aware of, but they can also let you in on hidden deals and even promotions. Let's kick it off with a look at the Shop Savvy app. This is an app more or less dedicated to turning your phone into a shopping comparison tool. Find items by typing them in on the keyboard or use the camera to scan the barcode. The Shop Savvy app will crunch the numbers and tell you if there is a better deal on the product somewhere else. You can also get directions to the deal if the product is local or get directed to the website if the product is online. Well, with Shop Savvy, you can access reviews or even write your own and build wish lists. You can also set price alerts to let you know when the items you're looking for hit your price range. The app also connects you to Groupon to save even more money and using the deals feature will also let you know about the special promotions and sales. And we're just getting started. Let's browse to the world of shopping apps and see what we'd like to pick up. Everyone loves to save money. I think it must be in our genes. Remember being dragged to the grocery store with your mom as a kid and having to carry around a fistful of carefully clipped coupons to hand over to the cashier? So much time was spent to make sure that you could save 15 cents on that can of tomato sauce. Well, today we're gonna to talk about a new generation of coupons. These ones called Groupon. Essentially, what a Groupon does is help you shop around and find the lowest prices out there for what you're looking for. But the cool thing about this app is it uses the power of group buying to help you get better deals. Groupon acts like a social network for shopping and shoppers because we all know shopping is like swimming. Never go alone. Here's how it works. Set up your Groupon using the app. This will let the people at Groupon know where you are or where you live and will send you the deals in your area so you're not bothered with places you can't access. Once you see a great deal, you can share it with your friends using Facebook, Twitter, or email, and even discuss the deals to get more information before you decide to buy in. You can even subscribe for push and email notifications depending on which area you're in. You can buy the Groupon right on your phone. No need to access the website for transactions. Then head to the store, pull the Groupon up on your screen, and make your purchase using your Groupon discount. There's even a green side to all of this. You don't have to print anything, you just show your phone with the purchase deal on it and away you go. The app is intuitive, which makes keeping track of your Groupons and sorting them easy. If you like to shop, it's a sensible app to have and direct friends to, because if you get a few people in, it can save you even more money on future Groupon purchases. Available in over 160 cities in North America, Groupon is clearly the social coupon leader. Oh. Half price tacos, I gotta go. Sometimes you need an extra hand while shopping, whether it be an opinion or advice on a major purchase. Well, why not use your smartphone and yes, some awesome apps to help you out. Here are our top picks for apps that are handy as a shopping buddy. Quoted as Gwyneth Paltrow's obsession, Remodelista is a fantastic app for your living space. From remodeling to renovation ideas, this is a much more welcome second opinion than that friend who just won't tell you the truth. If you don't have an instant recollection of every item of clothing you own, and who does? Catalog your wardrobe easily with Dress Assistant. Keep track of what goes with what as you tear through the aisles and add in new purchases as you go and accessorize that wardrobe. Math is hard, but those discounts have to be calculated so you know if you're getting a deal or not. Save yourself the brain cramp by using the app Sale Price. Just punch in the original price, adjust the percentage off slider, enter in the tax, and you'll see how much money will be staying in your pocket. A lot of us live in varied climates, and one person's hot is another's cold. An indispensable fashion forecast tool is Wearcast. This app looks at your location, gives you a sensitivity setting for how hot or cold you're prone to feeling, and makes some fashion recommendations. You'll be bragging to your friends about your killer purchases through SMS, but you don't want to be crashing into sales racks or your fellow shoppers while you type. Mobile Typer will save you from an embarrassing collision befitting of a teenager. This app uses your camera to let you see through your SMS messages, so walk and text away, my friends. You may know him from his famous list, but he also has an app. I'm talking about Craig, and the app in question is Craig's phone. 
When you combine Craig's phone with the eBay app, you've got two shopping apps that can connect you to possibly any item you've been looking for. First up, Craig's phone. It's free at the iTunes App Store and Android Marketplace. The basic function is to buy and sell almost anything. Looking for a job, a place to live, maybe even a vintage hockey jersey, all this and more exists on Craigslist and therefore on Craig's phone. The beauty of the app is you can connect right to the list and search for what you want or create a post for something you're looking to buy or sell. Upload a photo to the post right from your phone. There's a featured section of the app that gives you your bookmarks, a search history, a best of, as well as a section called nearby, which doesn't really seem to work that well. The Craig's Phone app gives you any pictures included in the postings without having to open them, which can save time when you're browsing. Now, because of the adult section, the Craig's Phone app is listed at 17 plus for the age of the user. There are also a few bugs, like constantly returning you to the category page after looking at a post, but it's a small price to pay for this amount of shopping. Next up, the eBay app, which is also free at iTunes Store or Android Marketplace. Similar to the main eBay site, this app allows you to search for items by typing in what you're looking for into the search bar. Or if you want, you can scan a barcode or even use speech recognition if you're using the Android. The pages lay out a picture of the items along with a brief description, the price, condition, and the time left to purchase. What I like is that it even gives you push notifications to tell you where you are in the bidding process. A nice thing about eBay is it gives you a brief history of who you're buying from to make you a little more comfortable with the purchase. The refined search option gives you a variety of choices when it comes to shopping or buying. You can sort by cost or by the condition of the item. Some points of concern though for the eBay app are the inability to create a listing from your smartphone or iPad and the app doesn't support all payment types. Craig's phone and eBay are shopping made easy, sometimes too easy, so a little warning needs to be thrown out about overspending, especially when apps like this put almost anything you could ever want right at your fingertips. There's more to shopping apps than you might think, and we've got a look at some that not only help you with buying things, but also help you use what you've bought. That and a look at an app that just may save your life if you're ever attacked by one of those major food groups. We're back in a moment. Welcome back. Spending money is the reason you make money, and these next apps will lend a hand dishing out cash for the stuff you want. This Hot 5 is all about retail store apps. Kicking things off, we have Best Buy's app. Their app lets you take a look at what they're selling or create lists of stuff you want to buy. The beautiful thing about the Best Buy app is that it allows you to not only find out what you're looking for, but buy it right on your phone. It'll give you the store locations as well, but why go when the store is already in the palm of your hand? The Canadian Tire app is next. Scan barcodes in store for price checks, and the app gives you access to product info, as well as letting you in on reviews of items by other customers. I've got two letters for you, H&M. This app comes complete with a GPS to help you locate the H&M nearest you, and it works anywhere in the world. Now you can find that H&M in Dubai, Minsk, or even Easter Island. Create wish lists, and the app will crunch the numbers and show you what your list would cost to buy. Sadly, no purchasing can be done using the H&M app, but it's perfect for browsing, which is the real purpose for shopping anyway. On to Sephora. The standards are here again, store locations, catalogs, and barcode scanning, but the app also lets you in on the daily deals and keeps you in the know on the new product situation. They have video of experts giving makeup tutorials, customer reviews, beauty tips and tricks, and more, creating a beautiful app all around. And last, but certainly not least, Holt Renfrew's app. Among the standard product updates, catalog, and store locators, the Holt Renfrew app also provides a look at what the items you might want to buy look like on the runway. Access Holt Renfrew fashion shows through the app, as well as other Holt Renfrew specific videos on YouTube. Sadly, director's commentary and deleted scenes aren't included with the videos, perhaps on their next app. From the people who brought you the website epicurious.com comes the Epicurious app for the iPhone and iPad. Whether you're a serious foodie or just want to make cooking the basics even easier, this app is what you've been waiting for. The Epicurious app brings all things food to you. You can access over 30,000 recipes from sources like Bon Appetit, Gourmet and Top Chef's cookbooks. When you find a recipe you like, you can save it as one of your favorites. Don't know what you want to cook? Then browse by categories like kid-friendly, quick and easy, low-carb, or even search by special events like Thanksgiving or Easter menus. 
But the specifics don't stop there. Are you a master chef? Then search for a recipe under the I cook like a pro heading. Or does the kitchen look like a terrifying alien landscape? Then find a recipe under I can barely cook. You can also plan multiple meals at the same time. No matter what recipe you want to prepare, the ingredients need to be purchased, and the Epicurious app lends a hand there as well. Once you've found the recipe you like, add it to your shopping list. The app will break down the recipe into shopping categories and list the items you need. This way you won't forget anything while you're at the grocery store. You can also use the app to create your own shopping lists or email lists and recipes to yourself and friends. And you can read recipe reviews from other Epicurious members and see how they rate the recipe. Four forks is a solid hit, whereas two or less are usually signs of failure. The iPad version of the Epicurious app is super handy in the kitchen. The full screen cookbook view offers ingredient display, vivid photos, and prep steps all on one screen. So you don't have to worry about using egg yolk covered fingers to search for the next step. It also features nutritional information for thousands of recipes in the database, making it easier to make sure you're cooking healthy. You can adjust recipe ingredients in case of any food allergies, and you can even enter the ingredients you have on hand to see what sort of recipes you can whip together. And last, but certainly not least, Epicurious is free to download. I have no idea why, but suddenly I'm starving. Do you remember sitting in your high school algebra class and asking yourself, when am I ever going to use this in real life? And then wouldn't you know it, you run into a situation where advanced math was completely necessary. Well, this next app is exactly the same. You're probably thinking, when will I ever be attacked by strawberries? Why would I ever need to fight off an orange? Well, it's better to be safe than sorry, and that's why Fruit Ninja HD is our next app. You might consider Fruit Ninja a game, but it could also be seen as an essential life skill. The situation is this. There's fruit coming at you, a whole lot of fruit, and you need to fight it off in order to survive. The game has a few different settings, classic, zen, arcade, and connect. The classic setting is exactly what it sounds like, your traditional attack by fruit scenario. You need to defend yourself by slicing and dicing with the swipe of your finger across the screen. It goes without saying that you need to avoid slicing the bombs lobbed at you. You slice a bomb or miss three pieces of fruit, and it's game over. Zen Mode offers a single 90 second round with no bombs. The object here is to get the highest score possible before the time runs out. Arcade Mode is similar in that you have a time limit and you can't die, but it offers power ups and double points. Bombs are a factor here and hitting one will cost you 10 points. And finally, Connect. You can access Game Center, which allows you to play head to head with friends or random strangers who are training in some vitamin C related combat. Everyone is assigned a color of fruit. Slice yours and not your opponent's. Play long enough and you can learn the secrets of unlocking new backgrounds and blade colors. The game is highly addictive, but as you can probably guess, after a while, it can get a little old. I mean, once you've mastered protecting yourself against fruit, you start thinking about real philosophical questions, like, can I take on vegetables? Oh yeah. and send messages to your contacts using BlackBerry Messenger. Follow these simple instructions and you'll be sending BBM messages in no time. The process begins on your home screen. Click the menu key and then select the BlackBerry Messenger icon. Welcome to the BBM Instant Messenger application. On the contact list screen, click the menu key, then invite contact. Select invite by sending a PIN or email message. Enter a person's email address or PIN number and then click send. You can also add contacts by scanning their barcodes. Here's how you can do that. On the contact screen, click the menu key and then invite contact. Select scan a person's barcode and then click continue. Hold your device so that all four corners of the barcode appear on your screen. Continue to hold the device until you hear it beep. Keep in mind that this contact might remain in the pending category until they respond to your invitation. Once you've added contacts, sending BBM messages is easy. Select the contact in the main menu, then simply type in a message and click send. Congratulations, now you're ready to chat with your friends using BlackBerry Messenger.
If ever there was an app that was designed to help you out in a mall, and I mean virtually any mall, this is the one. Well, some of us may need more help than others. We'll take a look at Fast Mall after the break, and we'll show you how to use your smartphone when you're out shopping in the malls or stores to help you get a deal. All that and a whole lot more when App TV continues. Well, they're hot, and there are five of them. That's why we call this segment Hot Five. This time around, it's all about making the most of shopping with our shopping list apps. Starting out, we have Remember the Milk. This app allows you to add and check off completed tasks on the go. Sync up with Remember the Milk online for backing up your notes and tasks. Get reminders via email, text messaging, and instant messenger so you can prompt yourself to do things and never again forget to pick up the milk, whether it's goat, soy, or good old 2%. Up next, Grocery Gadget. This app gives you a barcode scan feature for price checks and lets you sync up shopping lists with other family members so everyone knows who's buying what. This prevents the embarrassment of getting home with five jars of mustard. E-coupons are available through Grocery Gadget to help save you money and even a picture feature to help confirm you're buying the right thing or if you just like photos of food. Green Grocer is our next Shop Till You Drop app. As you pick up your items, shake your device and they'll immediately go to the bottom of the list. Green Grocer offers location where shopping, meaning it can remember your shopping habits and will identify nearby items for you. Is someone watching you shop? Well, Big Brother is not only watching, he's shopping too. Next, Grocery IQ. This app has a database of millions of items so you can build your grocery list easily or just buy the millions of items. It also allows you to scan barcodes and add items to your list quickly. If necessary, the Grocery IQ app also gives you the space to add notes about items like size, quantity, and price. Last up, we're taking a look at Splash Shopper List Manager. If you're a king or queen of the list scene, then you might want to consider this app. It comes with some preloaded lists like emergency items, travel checklists, wine recommendation, and the list goes on and on. Whether you're shopping or making lists of places to shop, Splash Shopper List Manager should be near the top of your list. It's time again to look at the apps that are in the league of their own. Do you remember how you asked your husband or wife to marry you? In a unique, interesting, or intimate way? Well, why the heck did you do that? The Will You Marry Me app takes all the respect, hope, and love out of the equation. It reduces it to nothing more than artificially generated sounds and images. You'll still be talking about this on your 50th wedding anniversary, obviously with someone other than the person you use this on. And if you only thought there was one app that can help you pop the question, you were way off base. There's also Marry Me. Apparently this one does it all and even comes with virtual rings. You can choose where to have your ceremony too. But be warned, it's only gonna happen in Paris, London, or Vegas. Now there's a surprise. And to wrap all this up in a nice little package, we have the Woo button. Woo! That's right, you press it and it says Woo! That's after you use one of the proposal apps and he or she says yes, you now have the proper way to celebrate. Have you ever walked into a store and immediately forgotten what it is you were going to buy or end up leaving with 10 or maybe even 20 bags but are missing specifically that one item that you went to go get? Well, hopefully that's a thing of the past as we show you some apps that will help turn you into a supermarket superhero, making sure you get everything you need and even maybe saving a buck or two. Kicking it off, let's take a helping hand from Kitchen Helper. So you find this great recipe and you're all set to make this magical meal when the diet restrictions start coming in. From lactose intolerance to being a vegetarian like me, people are often picky about what they want to eat, but that doesn't mean that you have to throw away your entire recipe. Kitchen Helper's main purpose is to help you find alternatives so that you can serve the meal you want. Just enter the ingredient that needs to be eliminated and let the app find an acceptable substitute. This can be used to find lower fat ingredients or even less spicy ingredients as well. The app breaks the food down by category and food group to make searching even easier. Now if only they made a version that cooked the recipe, we'd be set. Next up, they said you can't compare them, but this app is out to prove them wrong. It's apples to oranges, the ultimate in comparative shopping. Whether it's the price of the item or the calories in them, this app will help keep your wallet fat and you thin, just the way I like it. 
Do you want to know if it's better to pay more for a bigger portion at the grocery store? Then just enter the amounts and the price, and the app will let you know if you really are getting the better deal by buying the larger item. It could be mayo, sugar, pasta. In some cases, bigger may not always be better. The same approach can be used for calories. Just check out the nutritional info of the products in question and compare them in serving sizes, whether it be in cups, ounces, or tablespoons. Last but not least, we come to eye spoil. It's estimated that North Americans throw out 20 million tons of domestic grown food per year, and food costs rose by 7.3% in Canada last year. Those two things combined show us how much money we waste by wasting food. That's where eye spoil comes in, by helping us keep on top of things. All you need to do is enter in what you're buying in the expiry dates of the products. The app will log it and send you push notifications to let you know what's in your fridge or cupboard, and how much time you have left before it goes bad. If you take the time to enter the info, you'll end up saving hundreds of dollars a year and prevent those strange science experiments from developing the dark corners of your fridge. For some, malls can be a frustrating experience, dealing with the crowds, finding the stores you want, finding the sales finding you want. Finding the food court hey. or the bathroom. <laughs> this app takes everything from parking to purchasing into consideration when it comes to the mall. It's called Fast Mall, and it helps you find stores and sales, can show you the fastest way to the closest bathroom for people like him, and lets you connect with others to give reviews and share tips of your own. The breakdown of the stores is done by category, and the app even provides phone numbers for all the stores listed. It's a one-stop shop for multiple stop shopping. And that about wraps it up this time. Thanks for watching App TV. We'll see you next time. You're still going to the mall right now, aren't you? Yep. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. App TV is brought to you by TELUS.